All right, this is our topic 10, first grade uh, assessment. So you can go ahead and do this on your own or you can do it with me. I'll let you decide what you'd like to do. You can pause it and solve the problem and then turn it back on and check your answers as well. All right, let's take a look at this. Number one, write an equation that matches the place value blocks below. An equation is just our math sentence. So let's add this up. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 plus 10, 20, 30, 31, 32 equals, and let's do our total on this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 58, okay? Number two, use part of the 100 chart to add. We're doing 46 plus 20. So we're gonna start at 46, okay? So start at 46 and you're gonna add 20 to it. So look at the answers and try to figure out what you need to do. You can pause it right now and then turn it back on when you're ready. Okay, if we're gonna add 20, we're gonna go 10, 20. So our answer is gonna be 66, okay? Number three, find the sum, draw place value blocks to show how you found it. So we're gonna do 50 plus three. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus three, one, two, three. So we know that 50 plus three is gonna be 53. Number four, which equation matches the place value blocks shown below? Choose all that apply. So let's take a look. We have got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, plus 10, 20, 30. Now it says choose all that apply. So let me have you pause it, and you can choose your answers and then turn it back on. All right, let's take a look. Uh, 60 plus 30 equals 90. Yep, that's correct. Let's see, 6 tens plus 3 tens equals 9 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens plus 1, 2, 3. Yep, that's correct also. Now 60 plus 10 equals 70. Nope, that one doesn't match. And four tens plus three tens. Well, yeah, that's not going to work either. So we know it's just going to be the first two. Okay, let's go ahead and go over to the back side of this and start with number five. It says, Jimmy picks up 18 leaves. Then he picks up 11 more. I know that that more lets us know we are going to add. How many leaves does Jimmy have in all? Explain how you solve the problem. Did you need to make a 10? So I'm gonna draw a picture. I'm gonna do 18 first. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, plus 11. 10, 11, okay? Let's see if I needed to make a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nope, did I need to make a 10? I'm gonna say no, I did not need to make a 10. And let's see our total. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So our total is 29. Okay, number six, solve the problem. Use place value blocks if needed, okay? So what we can do on this one, we've got 28 plus 13. So you can do 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, plus 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's see if we need to make a 10. Let's count how many ones we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, yep, we're going to need to make a 10 because it's 10 or higher. So that's gonna be our group of 10, and we have one little guy left over. So we have one person left over here, and then we're gonna regroup that one group of 10 over here, and then let's add 10, 20, 30, 40. So we know that two plus one is three, plus one more is four, so 41. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at number seven. 
It says Andy washes 16 dishes. Beth washes 18 dishes. How many dishes did Andy and Beth wash in all? Okay, so we can draw pictures, we can use models. I'm gonna use models, I'm gonna use our number models. So I'm gonna start with 16 first. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus 18. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, now we need to do our total. So we know it's gonna be 16 plus 18 equals something. Well, let's see if I can make a group of 10 first. I actually see I can do it because I put these in groups of five and I know that five plus five is gonna equal 10. So I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 equals 34 dishes. All right, great job. This assessment's pretty long. Let's go on to our, <clears throat> excuse me, our next page of our performance, uh, or our regular assessment here. It says use part of the 100 chart to solve each problem. So we have 10 plus 27. What I'm gonna do on this one is I'm actually gonna start at 27 and I'm gonna add 10. So go ahead and add 10 to your 27 and figure out if it's gonna be 17, 28, 37, or 40. You can pause the video and I'll put it back on in just a minute. All right, let's take a look at this. We started at 27. I know that if I do one hop down, that's adding 10, that puts us at 37. So our answer is C, 37. Okay, let's take a look at number nine. Four plus 35, I'm gonna start at the larger number, 35. And then I just have to add four. One, two, three, four. So we know that four plus 35 is going to be 39. Use mental math to solve. So we are thinking in our head. So 53 plus 10 is going to be 63. 48 plus 10 is 58. And 64 plus 10 is 74. This is like the skip counting we've been working on. Okay. Choose the correct number to complete each equation. 20 plus 70. So you can draw out your six, 10, 20, plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and total those up. And then choose your answer. You can pause the video. And let's check it. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 is going to be 90. Okay, 30 plus something is going to be 60. Now we can do this on a number line if we want to. And let's do hops by 10. 30 plus 10 is 40, plus 10 is 50, plus 10 is 60. Now these are three hops of 10, so 10, 20, 30. We know that 30 plus 30 will equal 60. Okay, let's take a look at number 15. Something plus 20 equals 40. So I've got 20 plus something equals 40. Let's see, let's count by tens. 20 plus 10 is 30, plus 10, oh, is 40, look at that. Plus 10, plus 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. So we know that answer is going to be 20. Okay, let's go to our back page here. We're gonna be using our open number line to show our work on this one. Okay, so it says, use the open number line to add, show your work. It says 40 plus 23. I'm actually gonna start at 23. And I'm gonna do four hops of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. Plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, and plus 10, okay? And then you can write down what the sum is. You can pause the video write down the sum and then come back and check it. So I know 23 plus 10 is 33, plus 10 is 43, plus 10 is 53, plus 10 is 63. So our answer is going to be 63. Okay, Jonah drew models to show 43 plus eight. Did he draw the models correctly? Explain how you know. So let's check first. This should be 43, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, uh-oh. 
right off the bat, I see this is 33 and it's supposed to be 43. Let's see if he did eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he did the eight, but he did it correctly. You can write no because he needed to do 43, okay? Now we're gonna solve each problem and then figure out if you can make it 10 and you can do place value blocks to solve. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw them out. It'll be kind of small. Let me see if I can zoom in for this last one a little bit closer. Okay, 42. 10, 20, 30, 40, plus one, two, plus 37. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So I know that two plus seven is nine. It's not enough to make a 10. So can we make a 10? Nope. And then we're gonna find the sum. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, uh, 77, 78, 79, 79, okay? All right, let's take a look at our next one. 16 plus 35, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus 35, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I know that six plus five is 11, which is higher than 10. So I know that yes, I'm gonna need to make a 10. And I'm going to go ahead and make my 10 right now. I'm going to take this 5 plus this 5 and make a 10. So let's count up our 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51 is going to be our total. 51. And then 14 plus 16. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 plus 16. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I know that four plus six equals 10 in our ones. So I know that if I circle all these, that makes a group of 10. So yes, I need to make a group of 10, and my sum is 10, 20, 30 for that one. Excellent job, everybody.